Hello and welcome to Cooking with PMQ. I'm your host Brian Hernandez and today we are going to make some very special treats uh, provided to us by our friends at PCI Frozen Foods. We're going to be making some pizza cones. These things are great for festivals, barbecues, uh, any day of the week or if you just don't want to eat a whole lot of pizza. Now these things they come pre-par baked and pre-packaged so you just open up the package, pull them out it's gonna, the par bake is gonna give it a nice crunch on the inside as well as the outside, and they're fully sealed, so it's not gonna leak in your oven from any of the moisture from vegetables or your pizza sauce. So basically, uh, this is very simple, so we're just gonna dive right into it. One tip I wanna give you straight off the bat is, in, as in most ice cream cones, you want the ice cream to go all the way to the bottom. So the best thing to do is to actually put about three quarters of an inch of mozzarella in the very bottom. So when you get down to that last bite, it's not just open air pocket. So we're just gonna stuff that into one, uh, the large one, and they do come in two sizes, large and small, for mommies and daddies and brothers and sisters. So we're going to just put a three quarters of an inch of mozzarella on the bottom as a cushion to keep the moisture from hitting the bottom as well. As I said, they're fully sealed, they're not gonna leak, but it just helps keep everything nice and crisp. So these come in with a nice stand that you can put in your ovens at home or at your pizzeria. Uh, so this one holds six, they do make them in larger quantities, but we're gonna make six different cones. Um, so I'm gonna just start with the first one. We're gonna make a uh, green pepper, black olive cheese mixture. Uh, next one, we're gonna do some prosciutto and mozzarella. The third large one, we're going to do uh, margarita with some fresh mozzarella and basil. And then we're just gonna do a couple pepperonis and a cheese for the kids. So let's just jump right into it. So what I'm gonna do here is add a little bit of my ingredients and I mix this up so that it kind of it melts together and kind of holds it all as one cohesive unit and another tip here is you want to get a sauce that's not too watery um, a lot of Neapolitan sauce is very fresh tomato so there's a lot of juice but that's going to create a lot of water pockets that are very hot when they come out a good tip to help prevent burns and to keep everything as dry as possible is to use a thicker sauce a heavier sauce so I put in my ingredients I put in just a dab of sauce. I'm going to put a little bit more on the top of the ingredients. I'm going to put one more dab of sauce. And then a nice trick to make it look nice coming out of the oven, you always want to fill it up as close to the top as possible because it will melt over a little bit. But if you leave it too low, then you've got just pizza cone with no, no ingredients. So a nice way to make it look nice on the top coming out of the oven is just top it off with some mozzarella. Try to get most of it in the cone, unlike I just did there. So the next one, we're going to put in a little bit of prosciutto. And I've, I've already kind of picked this apart so it's not big, uh, big bites. I'm just going to do every other layer here. Prosciutto, mozzarella, tomato sauce. And I think I can squeeze about one more in here. So prosciutto, mozzarella, tomato sauce. Now that's pretty close to the top. Now you see you do have this higher edge here, so I'm gonna actually add some more. I'm gonna do it over the mozzarella this time. Add some more on the top. Just kind of top it off. If you leave a little bit on the side, it will kind of ooze over like a melty ice cream cone. So that's always a good look coming out of the oven if you're doing these at home or if you're selling them at your, at your restaurant. So next one we are going to try a margarita so I've got sauce in the bottom with a little bit of shredded mozzarella just because it melts a lot better put in a little bit of margarita so or uh, tomato sauce at the bottom I'm gonna add some fresh mozzarella I'm gonna take a basil leaf just a couple pinches of it and then I'm gonna repeat the process and you kind of build these in steps so that you're getting every other bite you're getting another set of flavors so all right so now we've got mommies and daddies here ready to go just so we know which one is which, we're gonna add a piece of prosciutto, a piece of black olive to the top. So now we're gonna go to the kitty ones, and these are pretty fun. Um, you can get those, the really small pepperonis, and they'll fit great in the big cones as well as the, the small cones. But what I tried the other day and I really liked was just kinda looping the, the pepperoni around there and uh, just stuffing cheese down the middle. <laughs> Kids are never that picky when it comes to pizza, at least most of them that I've met. So now that we've got our nice little pepperoni flour cup, we're just going to put some mozzarella in the middle. And this, these are smaller cups, so there's a lot less room. So you, obviously all the portions have been decreased. 
And then I'll just do the tiniest dab of red sauce, some more mozzarella. And that's gonna be, that's gonna come out all nice and melty and look great. This one, we're keeping it simple. I'm just going cheese. All right, so now we have our oven set at about 475 degrees right now. So we're gonna put these in there. It's only gonna take about five to 10 minutes tops. So depending on your oven, first couple times you try it, definitely keep an eye on it. So what we're gonna do is we're just basically gonna take this tray, set it right into our oven. All right, it's been about seven minutes, so we're gonna check on our pizza cones right now. Um, if you can get a uh, clip, a pizza pan clip, sometimes those work, but here's the easiest way that I found to do it. Just take your oven mitt, lift it up slightly, and slide your peel right underneath it. You can definitely smell the pepperoni going. Oh yeah. So here, lift it up, slide it in, and you're good to go. Remember when you set this down, this is hot. So it's easy to forget sometimes. So okay, so now we have our pepperoni, pepperoni cheese, our green pepper, black olive, our prosciutto and cheese, and here's our margarita. So to make this nice and pretty, we're just gonna top that guy off with another little bit of basil, as I said, can never have much enough basil so uh, they also come with several stands and displays that you can put on your tables so here what we're gonna do here's obviously the larger cones so we're gonna set one in there here's the prosciutto we'll set our margarita right here and here's gonna do our cheese and pepperoni and a couple more so you can serve them six at a time or you can serve them individually so they make great appetizers or you can just uh, serve them as a, an entree, and you can serve them six at a time. So make sure to ask your local distributor if these are available in your area. That's all the time we have today for Cooking with PMQ. I'm Brian Hernandez. We'll see you guys next time. In the meantime, keep those ovens lit.